Hey, it's Matt Morris, leadwithmatt.com. Appreciate you guys tuning in as you pop on. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Today, we're gonna talk about the beliefs that you have that are sabotaging your success. Beliefs that you have about other people, beliefs that you have about yourself, and why they are crippling you when it comes to you achieving financial freedom. So we're gonna get into that. Seeing some folks hop on, let me know what city, state, country you're tuning in from. If you're watching this live, drop me a live in the comments. If you're watching this on the replay, drop me a replay. If you are seeing me for the first time, welcome. Drop me a one in the comments so we can welcome you. And listen, we uh, typically have a lot of people that share the broadcast here. If you do share it, let me know that you shared it in the comments so I can give you a shout out. And so, here at the lake house enjoying a beautiful day just rained for about 10 minutes and the sun is coming back out so it's going to be an awesome day we've got our independence day july 4th coming up so we are going to have a blast about to run to the store to get the kids a uh, slip and slide how many of you had a slip and slide when you were a kid drop me a uh, comment below i think we called ours the wet banana Anyway, fun stuff. I got to find a long one because we got a big, long yard going down to the lake. So let's talk about belief systems. Now, here's what I want. If there's something that you want to really lock into your mind, what you want to realize is that whatever belief that you hold tightly to is going to manifest itself. It will become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So one of the most important things that we have to figure out and get mastery on is having a healthy set of beliefs. And the thing about belief system is this, we have, we have the power to choose our belief, to consciously choose the things that we believe about certain things. Now, most people are, I would say, reactive when it comes to the things that they believe. They believe the things that they believe, not because they've consciously chosen to believe the things that they believe, but because those beliefs have been implanted into your mind and you operate like a robot and you just choose to believe those things, those things become true and you really don't have the power, the personal power that you need to get to where you wanna go in life. So we gotta analyze our belief systems and we have to choose a belief that will empower us, not disempower us. Hopefully that makes sense. If it's making some sense, drop me a comment below. So here's, I'll give you some examples. I struggled for a lot of years. It took me five years to get full-time as an entrepreneur, five years to get full-time in network marketing. I struggled. And a lot of the reasons why I struggled was because of the beliefs that I had based on other people's input based on experiences that I had and I needed to change them. And the thing about beliefs is it takes just as much energy, just as much energy to have an empowering belief as it does to have a disempowering belief. So if it takes just as much energy, you've probably heard it takes just as much energy to think big as it does to think small. Very, very true. It takes just as much energy to have empowering beliefs versus disempowering. So we gotta make sure we have empowering beliefs. And I'll tell you some of the disempowering beliefs that held me back from achieving a lot of success. Now, number one was my belief as it related to network marketing was that people are skeptical about network marketing and they don't wanna be involved in it. Now, if that is your belief, if you were to adopt that belief and believe that everyone is skeptical, what are your chances of achieving a lot of success? I'm telling you, they're not very high. One of the things I've discovered as I travel around the world, as I go to different countries, people say, well, you don't understand, Matt, the people in Singapore are skeptical, the people in Africa are skeptical, the people in Europe are skeptical. And as long as you hold on to that belief, even if you believe it's true, as long as you hold on to that belief, you're not going to achieve a huge amount of success because you're holding on to a disempowering belief and whatever belief you hold on to becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I chose to stop believing that. Now, why did I believe that? I believe that because of some things that had happened. My sponsor, when I got started, um, she, it was an Amway presentation. And at the end of the presentation, they said, it's Amway. 
Now, I had never heard of Amway. I wasn't skeptical at all, not even a little bit. And so we go to the back of the room and she said, she basically said something about, um, yeah, we don't, they don't say Amway or we don't say Amway right off the bat because then people get skeptical. Well, I'd never heard of Amway and I didn't know to be skeptical, but she taught me to be skeptical. So I joined anyway, but what happened was I had it in my mind that people were skeptical and guess how much success I had? Very little. In fact, I enrolled three people in two years, two of which I paid for to get in. One was my mom. I never even told her she was in. The one person I did enroll quit the next day. So at the end of two years, I had one person in my group. It was me. That was it. Okay. And then I went and I joined another company and I held on to that negative belief, that disempowering belief. I carried it with me. And so guess what always showed up? What always showed up was people who are skeptical about network marketing. And so over the years, I had to realize that this belief is holding me back. So I decided to adopt a different belief because you can choose to believe whatever the hell you want. So you might as well choose a positive belief. So I'll tell you the belief that I chose to believe that people understand that network marketing is a very powerful business concept but they haven't seen anything that was real and they haven't been able to work with someone like me so if someone is skeptical they may have a little skepticism but it's only because they haven't found the right vehicle and they haven't worked with someone like me and so i believe my belief is that people are open-minded they want to look hey sweetie you gonna come join us on the video what do you think no no all right so guess what started to happen i started finding open-minded people and when someone came that previously i would have thought was skeptical i didn't look at that as a reason for them not to join my belief is that everyone understands that network marketing is a powerful vehicle they just haven't found the right vehicle for them and so i was able to basically go to them and not hold on to this negative belief system and have that spill over onto them see so realize that whatever belief system that you have it spills over onto the person that you're trying to prospect trying to recruit trying to close so i started having success one of the other beliefs is so that was a belief that i had about other people one of the other negative beliefs that i see is people are always saying i can't find anyone motivated no one's motivated to go become successful now are there people who are unmotivated yeah of course but if your belief is that most people are unmotivated guess what you're always going to attract and always going to find unmotivated people so my belief is that people are naturally motivated people want to achieve financial freedom people want to travel around the world people want to be significant people want to have the fulfillment of knowing they made an impact in the lives of others and because that's my belief guess what i find i find those people okay because I've opened up that space and I'm not spilling my negativity, my negative belief on the people who would otherwise be positive, okay? So realize you're carrying around this negative belief and other people are seeing it, they're feeling it, and they get repelled by that negative belief that you're holding on to, okay? So that's negative beliefs about other people. Now, we also have to look at negative beliefs about ourselves. So my negative belief about myself was that I'm not a very powerful leader. Come on, baby, hop in. Mm. <laughs> My negative belief that I was not a very powerful leader because I had been involved in network marketing for several years and I had failed. I had not achieved a lot of success. And so I was, based on experience, not a good leader. Now I realized once I understood the things that I'm telling you right now, that that would hold me back. And I would never have the success that I really wanted. Why? Because if I don't believe I'm a powerful leader, that's gonna spill over onto the person that I'm trying to recruit. So I said, you know what? Let me adopt a different belief. And so I created a different belief. And the belief was that because, listen, because I've failed for a number of years, what that means is that I'm an amazing leader. Why? Because I've been through hell, I can lead other people through hell. I understand what the struggle is like. I know what it feels like. And so I can relate to other people way more than someone 
who never had to struggle. That makes me a better leader, not a worse leader. And so I was able to step into that powerful place as a leader. Why? Because I simply changed my belief system and I decided to step up and start acting like the leader that I needed to be. So I could go through a whole bunch of other things. I could talk about your belief about money. Now, if you believe that money is the root of all evil, if money doesn't grow on trees, money's hard to come by, guess what you're never gonna attract? Money, you're never gonna have a lot of money. I'll give you one quick story, okay? Quick story here. I used to have a belief system that I would say that money's not important to me because I didn't want to feel greedy, money hungry, things like that. So I would say, like I was ambitious, I was ambitious, I wanted to make a lot of money, but I would say money's not very important to me. And I went to an event, it was a T. Harv Eker event, and he got into beliefs about money. And I realized I had a negative programming as it related to money, because I was saying money's not that important to me. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta change that. Money is important to me. And it was, listen, a week later, I was having lunch with a guy who was in Dallas, and this guy had had some success, but in his mid 60s, he may have been closer to 70, flat broke. I mean, completely broke, couldn't pay his bills. The guy was in bad, bad financial shape. And one of the things that he said to me at lunch is he said, you know, the thing about me is I really don't care about money that much. I've had money and I've lost money. I just, you know, um, I want to get live a good life, but I don't really care that much about money. And it was like, a huge warning to me. Why? Because that was the exact same belief that I had, and I'm in my 20s when I'm having lunch with him, and I realized if I held on to that belief, I would end up exactly like this guy in his 60s, still completely broke. Why? Because he didn't put a lot of value on money. He said he didn't care about money. So from that point forward, I refused to say, I don't care about money. I started saying money is important to me. I value money. And I don't care if it's a million dollars or a penny. If I see a penny on the ground, I value money. I'll pick up that penny and save it. Why? Because I value it. It's important to me. And as long as money's not important to you, you're not going to have a lot of money unless you inherited the money, okay? So realize our beliefs will sabotage us. We will figure out a way to sabotage ourselves to get to our belief system because there's a thing called the consistency and commitment. We will be committed to remaining consistent with what we believe. I'm gonna say it again. We will be committed to being consistent with what we believe. So if you believe money is the root of all evil, you're never gonna have much for any period of time. If you believe you're a bad leader, you're never gonna rise to success for any length of time. You'll figure out a way to sabotage yourself and get yourself back to that negative belief. So homework, your homework is to start analyzing what your beliefs are as it relates to other people, as it relates to network marketing, as it relates to being an entrepreneur, as it relates to yourself, as it relates to money. What do you really believe and how is that belief holding you back? Once you have awareness of it and you realize how it could hold you back or potentially hold you back, then you can create an empowering belief and change your language so that you don't suck yourself in to adopting that negative belief. So listen, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for the comments. If you get some value out of this, hit the share button and give some value to some others. You wanna say bye? Oh, she's running. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> listen, if you want some advanced training, hop over to leadwithmat.com and watch the training that I have created for you there. I think you will love it. Once again, appreciate you guys tuning in. Let's go make life an adventure.